Hi everyone, Joe Oriema here on YesNetwork.com. I'm here with Jabba Chamberlain. Jabba, last year Yankees won the World Series. What was that feeling like? Oh, it was great. I mean, to uh, you know, come into spring training and uh, you know, have that goal in mind and understand what we needed to do, and just uh, coming together for the whole season and, and never giving up on each other, and then getting to where we wanted to be, and you know, being able to celebrate with our friends and family at home was pretty special. Now, this year you come into 2010, a little bit of a new roster. Javi Vasquez comes in, shores up the rotation. What do you like about this 2010 team? Um, you know, I, I like the adjustments that we made. I mean, obviously you lose guys every year, but uh, but I think our front office did a great job of bringing guys in that, uh, that understand what it's like to win. Um, you know, some guys have been here before, so they understand what it's going to take to get back to where we want to be. And, you know, it's a, it's a new year. 2009 doesn't matter. And, you know, everybody's focused on what we need to do to come out and do all the little things right and continue to, to be successful. Now, this year, it looks like you guys are kind of competing for that fifth spot in the rotation. Uh, how's that been so far? It's been great. I mean, guys are coming out with a uh, mentality of we're going to win that, and I think that's, uh, that's great for our ball club, uh, understanding that there's so many guys fighting for one spot. It's going to make our team better. You know, we're pushing each other to get better. You know, one guy goes out, you want, you want to continue to go out and be successful. So, you know, we, we push each other, but in turn it, it makes our team better, which is, is the most important part for us all. Now, what have you been working on this spring, and, and how do you feel so far? feel great. Um, you know, had a little bit of the flu, which isn't ever fun, but, uh, you know, feel good from that. And, you know, just uh, working on my delivery and my change-up definitely and just going out and try to do the little things right on the mound to, uh, you know, to create that, uh, that mentality of, of repeating yourself and, and doing the things you need to do to be successful. Now, I know that the big debate with you over your whole career has been starter, reliever, starter, reliever. But, you know, if you, if you don't win the fifth starter spot, are you prepared to go in and be Mariano's setup guy and just do what you do? Yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, the greatest opportunity in the, in the three years that I've been here. I've kind of been put in every situation, and, you know, I'm thankful for that. And, you know, I understand what it's going to take to uh, to go win that fifth spot. You know, i got a lot to prove. And, you know, if it doesn't happen, you know, hopefully I get that opportunity to see what happens to uh, to bridge to Mo. So, you know, we're going to go in with the mentality. We're trying to win that spot and, and understanding what we have to do to win that and, and try to get better in that way. Now, this year, like you said, you've done everything in every capacity for this ball club. Really, what are the main differences that you've seen between being a reliever and a starter? How do you approach each role that you've done? Uh, you know, being a starter, there's a little bit more room for error. Um, you know, with our lineup, you know, you, you've got to keep a team to two, three runs, and we're going to have a shot to win. And you ha that margin for error is not like that in the bullpen. You, you have to be that much better. I mean, because you're... You're getting one inning or, or a couple hitters, and knowing that uh, if you don't do your job, you're not going to give the ball to Mo, which uh, you know is pretty secure when you get the ball to him. So, you know, sometimes that's more important is understanding. You know, you have to be a little bit more perfect, if not 100% perfect, out of the bullpen. You've uh, pitched basically with Phil Hughes your whole career through through the minor leagues up into the major leagues. How do you guys push each other to make each other better? Uh, you know, it's a great, great competition. I mean, me and Phil have become good friends over the, the short amount of time we've been in the big leagues. And, uh, you know, we, we understand each other pretty well. We're kind of two different people, but, uh, you know, we get along great. And, you know, it's fun to to, uh, to be in his group, you know, pitch with him, throw bullpens with him, piggyback with him. You know, I got to watch him pitch the other day, and, you know, we'll vice versa this next start. So it, it's fun to have that competition because, you know, at the at the end, it's uh, you know it's important for us to push each other because it's going to make our team better. And one more question. Uh, you're pitching on a staff with CC Sabathia, AJ Burnett, Andy Pettit. I mean, you've gained so much knowledge from these guys already. How do they continue to just continue to teach you? Um, it's tremendous. You know, see, Andy's on year 15 or 16 or whatever it is, but, but the drive he still has to be a competitor and to win. I mean, he has five World Series rings. There's, there's not very many people that can say that, especially with one team. And to see the drive that he continues to still have and, and see and AJ coming in and what they did in their first year and, and the pressure that they had on themselves. I mean, coming in to, uh, to a New York team that, and that they played against their whole careers and to see what they did and to see how they came in after that year to, uh, to prove themselves again and to get better was, uh, was tremendous. And, you know, it, it's nice to have Javi on our side this time, you know, watching him pitch last year and over the, over the years prior. He's, uh, he's been a workhorse, so it's, it's fun to watch him and, and to learn from him too. All right, Java, good luck this year. Keep coming back to YesNetwork.com for all of your spring training in 2010 Yankees needs.